Hey, Gabby, ready to share some fun facts and jokes with our friends today? You bet, Carl. I've got a good one to start us off. Why do goats always wear bells? Hmm, I don't know why. <laughs> because their horns don't work! Ha 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 ha. Oh, that's a good one. I've got one for you, Gabby. Why did the carrot break up with the celery? Oh no, that sounds sad. Why did they break up? Because it found out the celery was stalking it. L-O-L. That's hilarious, Carl. But you know, celery's really good for you. It's super hydrating because it's mostly water. That's true. Now, I'm pretty sure you've seen such videos on YouTube. And one thing about kids' content is that they are the most watched videos on YouTube and with a very good retention rate. For instance, take a look at this video that was uploaded two weeks ago and it already has 27 million views. If you're also wondering whether you can monetize such content, the answer is yes. So let's take a look at one of these channels. First thing that you'll notice is that most of these videos have over 10 million views. Some even have over 100 million views, which is crazy. So let's go ahead and see how much this creator actually earns. So let's just go ahead and copy their name at the very top. And once we've done that, then we'll go over to Social Blade and see how much this person is actually earning. So we'll just paste their name over here and hit search. Now, if you scroll down, you'll see the amount of money this person is making, which is really crazy. So if you really want a piece of this pie, all you need to do is just start your own channel. And in today's tutorial, I'll show exactly how to go about it. The first thing that we need to do is generate our own story. And for that, we'll be using ChatGPT. Now we are going to ask it to generate our story in form of a conversation. So we want something that is fun for kids, that's something that they can learn from. So I'm just going to input this prompt over here. If you want, I can leave that one for you just to copy and see, play with it and maybe come up with your own. In your prompt, just make sure you give it a bit of context so that you can get the best of results. So once that is done, just click on enter and let it generate your story for you. In a few minutes, your story will be ready. So once it's been generated, you can just go through the entire story just to make sure that it is okay. And if you do not like the story that has been generated, you can always go to the very bottom and click on the regenerate button. Alternatively, you can always go back and give it a different prompt with a different set of instructions just to make sure that you have the story that you actually want. So remember, you can do this over and over again until you get a story that you actually like. Now, once that is done, it is time to go to our second step where we'll be generating voiceovers for our characters in the story. In this second step of generating voiceovers, we'll be using Eleven Labs. So if you do not have an account with Eleven Labs, you can go ahead and create one using your Google account or any other email address that you have. Once you're logged in, go over to the text to speech option. So in this box over here, you can go ahead and choose the voiceover that you want from down here. Next, you can go ahead and input the text that you want to convert to speech in this box over here. So we'll go back to ChatGPT and we'll be copying the text from there. That is the conversation between our characters. So for instance, I'll go and copy the part of the carrot. So once I've copied this part, now all I need to do is go back to 11 labs and paste uh, the, you know, the text over here in this prompt box. So once that is done, now I can go ahead and choose a voice that I want to use for this character. So you can choose any voice from the list given. And if you do not like any of the voices that are available over here, you can go ahead and click find more voices. So once you click the find more voices button, you'll be taken over to this page over here where you can choose any other voice that is available. So we'll just go over to the characters and animation portion and we are going to find a voice that is good for our character from here. So I like this first voice over here. I'm Erisita. I might be a little... So I think that would be really nice for animation. So I'll go over here and click on add. So it will be added to my voices. And next I'll go ahead and click on use. So now you can see the voice has been added and I'm ready to use this. So next, I'll just go back to the very bottom and click on generate speech. Once the speech has been generated, you can go ahead and listen to it just to make sure that it is in total alignment with your character. And once that is done, then you can go to the very bottom and click on this download button to download the audio file to your computer. Now back to ChatGPT, I'm going to copy the part of the goat. So once I've copied this, I'll go back to 11 labs and I'll go over and paste it in the prompt, uh, sorry, in this box over here in the speech box. So once I've done that, now I need to go ahead and find a voice that is suitable for the goat. 
So again, I'll go over to voices and I'll go over to find more voices. I think I'll find a better voice over there. Again, you can just go through all the voices available just to find that perfect voice for your character. So once that is done, I'll just go ahead and add the voice just like I did before. And next, I'll just go ahead and click on use. So this is going to take me back to my generation page. And now I'm going to generate the part of the goat using this voice. So the most important part of this step is just to remain organized. Just make sure that you know which voice you've used for which character. And possibly, actually the best thing is just to make sure that you label the voices. Just to make sure that there's no confusion, especially for the next part. That's right. We'll see you all next time for more laughs and learning. Bye. So you can just repeat this process over and over again until you have all the voiceovers for your story. So once that is done, now we are ready to move on to the next step. On to the third step and here we'll be generating characters for our story and for this we'll be using Adobe Express. So I'll go ahead and leave all the necessary links in the description box below. So for this you'll need an account to actually download your file once it's been generated. So we'll go to the very top and click on the sign in button. So you'll be prompted to create an account if you do not have one. So once you're here, you just go to the animate from audio option. And in the character category, you can see all the categories that are available. So I'll go over to animals and I'm going to go ahead and choose a goat since that's what we have in our story. So once that is done, the next thing that you need to do is just go ahead and choose a background. So the easiest way to do this is just to choose a green background. So you can choose a transparent one if you're on a pro account. But for this, let's go ahead and choose a green screen. So this is going to make it easier for us in the final step. So once that has been done, now we need to go ahead and upload our audio. So we'll just go back uh, and click on this browse feature. Then we'll go ahead and upload the audios that we got from 11 Labs. So you can now see the importance of being organized because things can easily mix up in this step. So once you've uploaded your voice, then they're going to just generate the entire lip sync video for you. So once it is ready, all you need to do is just go ahead and click on the download button. And this is just going to download directly to your PC. I'll just click on back, then I'll click on replace audio since I'm using the same character. So I'll generate all the goats part first and then I can go ahead and generate the carrots part. So now I'm just going to do this the same entire process until I've generated all the audios for the goats. Next I'll start creating the lip sync videos for my carrots. So I'll go over to character and this time from categories I'll go ahead and choose food then I'll choose carrot. So once that is done, I'll still stick to my green screen because this is going to be so much easier. You can actually go ahead and use a different color, maybe if you need better contrast when you're removing the background. So depending on the kind of editor that you'll be using when it comes to putting together the clips, well, it's totally up to you. But I always advise that you go for a green screen. It's so much easier to work with. Now you can go ahead and start uploading the parts for the carrot. So in the same way, we're just going to go ahead and generate the lip sync parts for the carrot in the same way that we did for the goat. So once that is done, now we are ready to go on to the fourth step. In this step, we'll be generating the backgrounds for our animation. So I'll go over to ChatGPT again, and I'm going to ask it to give me backgrounds that I can use for, you know, the conversation that I generated earlier on. So it's going to give me prompts that I'm going to use to generate images for that. Now, if you don't want to use that short, you can always go ahead and use a different one. For instance, you can go over to Canva, just create a design. You can use the YouTube thumbnail size. And then once that is done, just go over to elements. Then next, go over to the videos. So once you're in the video section, you can always go ahead and search for animation background. So this is going to give you options that you can actually use for this step. So you do not have to go ahead and generate yours. But in my case, I'll just go ahead and use these prompts that I got from ChatGPT. And I'm just going to copy one of these or actually I'm just, since I need several backgrounds, I'm going to use most of these prompts. So I'm going to just copy. Next, I'll go over to Promi AI. You can use Leonardo AI if you like. So once you're here, go over to AI Image Generator and I'm going to paste the prompt that I got in this prompt box. So once that is done, again, I'm going to leave the scene blank since I already have the scene described in the prompt. 
I'll also leave the perspective blank as well. So I'm going to choose the aspect ratio of 16 is to 9 since that's what I want. And after that, I'll just go over and click on generate. So I'll go ahead and do this with all the prompts until I have all the backgrounds that I need. And once you have all the backgrounds that you want and you're satisfied with how they look, the next thing that you need to do is start animating them. To do that, just go over to the specific image. So once you click on it, you'll see an option to actually edit the specific image. So in this edit option, all you need to do is click on it and you'll see an option for image to video so you can go ahead and click on that and the new window is just going to open so you can go ahead and input the prompt of how you want the elements in your image to move next you can go ahead and choose the motion intensity then once you're satisfied next just go ahead and click on generate so this is just going to generate an animation for you and you can do this with all the other images that you want. You can see that this animation is really beautiful and it's absolutely usable. So I'm going to do this with the other backgrounds that I want to use. And once that is done, then now all you need to do is just go ahead and download each of these and you'll be ready to compile your entire animation. So to add more life to these animations, you can go over to Canva. Choose a canvas that is 16 is to 19, then go over to uploads, then video, and upload these videos that you got from Promi AI or any other generator that you used. So once you've uploaded them, you can go ahead and start adding a bit more life. So for instance, I'll go ahead and search for butterflies, birds, you know, a bit of those and give them some animation so that the whole background can come to life. So for instance, this butterfly. I'll just go ahead and place it over here. Then I'm going to animate it by creating an animation path for it. So once that is done, you'll see like the entire background will totally come to life. So this part is absolutely unnecessary. It's totally up to you if you want to go ahead and do this. But the backgrounds that we got are absolutely usable on their own. So this is just a little fun fact that I just wanted to add that you can actually go ahead and add a bit more life to this background so once all this is done once you're satisfied with how the background looks you can go ahead and download it by going to the very top and click on share then you'll see an option to download so once you click on the download you'll see an option to download this as an mp4 then just go ahead and download it now your background is ready for the final compilation in this step, we'll be compiling everything that we've generated into a beautiful animation. And for this, we'll use CapCut. Now click Import to import all the elements of the animation that you want to create. So I'll just go ahead and choose all these video elements and I'm going to upload them to CapCut. Next, I'll choose the first background that I want to use. So I'm just going to drag this to the timeline over here. So once that is done, then I'm going to drag one of the animations on top of it so now i'm going to use to remove the background of this animation by going to chroma key and then i'm going to check to pick the color picker and i'm going to pick the green part then i'm going to adjust the intensity until there's no background and everything is okay since i want both characters to be available on the same background i'm going to lay both of them on top of the background and so that they are side by side like having a conversation with each other so just go ahead do this then you can go ahead and add some captions and all that and your video is ready so you can go ahead to the very top and click on export and your video will be ready and downloaded to your computer so basically that's how easy it is to create these animations so if you have any questions about this don't hesitate to put it in the comment section and thank you so much for watching i hope to see you in the next one bye bye want to start us off why do goats always wear bells Hmm, I don't know why. <laughs> because their horns don't work! Ha 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 ha. Oh, that's a good one. I've got one for you, Gabby. Why did the carrot break up with the celery? Oh no, that sounds sad! Why did they break up? Because it found out the celery was stalking it. L-O-L! That's hilarious, Carl. But you know, celery's really good for you. It's super hydrating because it's mostly water. That's true. And did you know carrots are great for your eyes? Oh, yeah! Because they're full of something called beta-carotene, which turns into vitamin A. That's what helps keep our eyes healthy. Hey, I've got one last joke before we go. What vegetable do sailors hate the most? I'm not sure. What vegetable? A leek.
Oh, oh no, oh. not a leak. That's a good one, Carl. Thanks for all the laughs and fun facts today. Anytime, Gabby. Remember, kids, learning is fun when you're with friends. That's right. We'll see you all next time for more laughs and learning. Bye. Bye, Bye everyone. everyone.